Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we are taking a look at Geary version 3.34. Now, I, I've revert, reviewed uh, Geary a few times in the past, and I was looking at some of those older videos, and 2014 was the last time that I did a review of Geary, so it's been a while. Now, I've played around with this app a few times, actually more than a few times over the past few years. Um, you know, it's got its good and bad sides. Um, Part of it's going to depend on what you're looking for. So kind of to start this out, um, you know, Geary is email only. So if you're coming from Thunderbird or Evolution, or if you're coming over from the, uh, from the Windows side of things and you've been using Outlook, this is email only. You do not have, um, you know, the, an integrated calendar. You do not have a uh, contact manager. Although there is a way to manage your contacts, uh, I'll I'll talk a little bit about that later on. Um, there's no task manager. There's no memo app. You know, you you are just doing email here. So if you're looking for that all-in-one solution, multiple apps combined into one, you're not going to get it here. But as an app for just dealing with email, it, it's pretty awesome. So let me talk a little bit about the history of Geary, uh, for those that aren't familiar with it. The initial release was in 2012, uh, and it was developed by Yorba, which are the same people that they developed uh, Shotwell and then the California Calendar. Um, now, in 2015, Yorba dissolved. Um, the people over at Elementary OS, they had been using Geary as their uh, as their email client for for um, for elementary OS, well, they they continued they continued developing the code and kind of forked it over into what is now Pantheon Mail. Um, now in 2016, the Geary development continued uh, now as a GNOME app. So now you got if you go and look, you have Geary, you also have Pantheon Mail. They look very similar. And a lot of the a lot of the code is the same or very similar as they've got similar roots. But anyway, 2016 the Geary development continued now as a as a GNOME app, um, and then recently um, the Geary versioning it changed to match the uh, um, GNOME's release schedule. So that's why um, you know this is now Geary 3.34. I think 3.32 was the first time that they went with the gnome um with the gnome nomenclature say that five times fast um and i think the last the last non gnome uh geary version was uh 0.13 i might be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure it is sorry i had to pause the video for a second um they're actually harvesting soybeans down the street from me and all the heavy equipment running up and down the street. Got my dogs all riled up. So if I have to take a if I have to pause the video again, that's probably what it's for, is that they're they're on the warpath about all the traffic on the street. Anyway, uh so let's take a look at this app here. Now I've got it set up with an old Yahoo account that I really don't use anymore and it's just loaded with spam. Um, but for the purposes of you know showing you how the app works, it, it'll work just fine. Anyway, let's kind of look at the uh, at our layout here. Up at the top, you've got a search button, the little hamburger menu, a couple of options there to let you set up the accounts, your preferences, keyboard shortcuts, that kind of stuff. Uh, you've got a reply, reply all, and forward buttons. Uh, you can mark conversations with flags. You can do some labels and then move conversations to other uh, folders. Uh, got an archive and, and trash button over here. Um, oh, and this little button right up here in the corner, that will open up your composer if you want to write an email. Boom, it opens it right up. Um, what else? Oh, and then over here, all of your email accounts will show up over here. You can collapse the tree or you can have it open however you want. Um, you are able to handle multiple email accounts with this application. 
And uh or setting up an email account. Come here to accounts. And there's that Yahoo account I was talking about. Now you see there's a Gmail account listed here, but it's not showing anything. And the reason for that is in uh for those of you that are familiar with the GNOME settings, you have an online account integration setting. You can, when you go and do the online accounts integration, um, it will add accounts to Geary via that that uh, that setting. Now, right now, I've got it set up so that it's blocking access to the email. That is that that Gmail account is something that I I currently use, so I really don't want to show the whole world all of my. Uh, all my email in there um, but uh, just so that you know yeah you can set up um, you can set up um, accounts or email accounts uh, using that uh, that online account dialog uh, then you can also use um, these available options right here you got one for Gmail Outlook Yahoo and you just click on that it walks you through steps and boom sets it up real easy now if you've got IMAP email, say company server or you know IMAP through your website or whatever, you can do that with this one down here, other email providers, um, and set up IMAP email through them or through this through this uh setup box. Now uh previously um I now I've got and the main email account that I use it's you know I set it up when uh, I started my uh, my website ajrizik.com. I was never able to get um, that IMAP account to function here on Geary. Um, you know I'd fill out all the information in here, and uh, I could never get a connection. Tried all kinds of different login settings and whatnot. Never got it to work. And it's always worked perfectly on on um, Thunderbird. It's worked perfectly on my um, uh, on my cell phone. Uh, it's worked fine through Evolution, but never could get it to set up correctly here. With this version of Geary, it's finally working correctly. And, you know, I had read that there were improvements made to I, to IMAP integration with this version. Definitely true. It's the first time I've been able to use that email. Um, that email address through this um, uh, uh, set through Geary, so pretty happy about that. But anyway, that that's all there is to setting up the uh, setting up your email accounts uh, on Geary. Very easy to use. So let me take a look at my notes, see where I'm at. Um, so anyway, you know, just kind of looking at it, it's. You know the the app's got a very clean UI. Um, I really like that. Um, you know when you look at some of the other Linux email clients out there, their their interfaces look you know pretty dated. Uh, like look at Claws Mail, or you know they've done some work on Thunderbird recently, but it's still it's it's it, it looks dated. Um, Although I will say I've been playing around with uh, with Sea Monkey, I'm probably going to do a review on that really soon, and and there while how would I say it while the interface is dated on Sea Monkey, uh, there's something kind of nostalgic about it that I uh, it's it's dated, but I like the look of it. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, but anyway, getting back to Geary, you know, I like the interface. Now, one of the thing, one of the reasons that they are able to make such a clean interface is because it does not have near the options, settings, you know, all that kind of thing that, say, Evolution or Thunderbird have. So, you know, as as you add more functionality, add more settings, um it makes it harder to keep a clean interface like this. So one issue that I did have, and let me go and pull it up, go back to accounts here. Under this Yahoo account, actually you got this on all your accounts, but see where you got this spot for signature? You can go and add a signature so you know it'll pop up on you know every email that you compose. 
Now you can go and type in a text, you know, um, thanks, AJ, you know, something like that. But I have a HTML uh, signature that I created not long ago. Um, you know, it's got my picture, um, links to social media accounts, uh, um, YouTube account, website, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, you don't have an option to add an HTML file here. And I've tried copying and pasting the text of that HTML file into the signature box. Doesn't work. Now, I've had no issues on, you know, virtually every other email account that I have on adding that um <clears throat> on adding that HTML uh, uh, file. So, I don't know, maybe there's something I'm doing wrong here, or, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, so if anybody that's watching this knows how to go and, and uh, set that up on Geary, I'd love to hear from you because uh, I'm kind of dumb. You know, I've tried, well, there's not a whole lot of things you can try. You know, you can either copy and paste it into there there's no way to add a add a text file so kind of stuck there so <clears throat> this is really the only thing that i've had on geary that did not work for me um everything else has worked just like it should if you're if you're if Geary is lacking anything, it really, it comes down to, it's not that something doesn't work. It just does not have that particular feature that you're looking for. Um, you know, like for example, I talked about contacts earlier. You don't have a contacts manager. However, <clears throat> you can go and add GNOME contacts to your desktop and you can manage your contacts. You know, they, uh, uh, Geary does, um, integrate or sync, however you want to say it, with GNOME contacts. So you can, you do, you can't essentially have a contacts manager in that respect. You don't have a calendar, <clears throat> but you can add GNOME calendar. You can add the calendar from the Pantheon desktop. I mean, there's other calendars that you can add. Um, same thing with, uh, you know, having a uh, task manager, notes, all that kind of stuff. Um, so really it comes down to, you know, on that, in that sense, it comes down to what are you looking for? Um, do you want to have all that stuff integrated into one application or do you like having multiple applications? Um, and, you know, I can see pluses and minuses to each. It's nice having everything integrated into one application. On the flip side, you know, um, you get to pick and choose what apps you are using for those different uh, the, those different tasks. So um, you know, say you know, let's let's take a look at uh, at evolution. Um, you know, say you don't like the calendar app that uh, that's an, uh, integrated into the evolution. You're stuck with it here on Geary. You don't like GNOME Calendar? Well, you can use the one from over on the Pantheon desktop, or you can use that one, or that one, or that one, you know. Um, so you do have more flexibility um, at the expense of everything's not integrated into one single application. So pluses and minuses on that. Um, and then as far as other things that are lacking, it really comes down to a lack of a lot of settings. You know, you don't have, say, the encryption options that you do on Thunderbird or Claws Mail, um, you know, that kind of stuff. But if you just want an application for reading your email and sending email, nothing fancy, this is an awesome application uh, to do that with. So I know this review hasn't been really long, but there's, like I said, it's a fairly simple app. There's not a lot to look at here. Um, what is here works very well. And uh, on that, I think that finishes things up here. As always, you got comments, questions, any of that kind of stuff, leave it down below. I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Uh, things that are in the works, uh, I'm going to have a review of Sea Monkey coming up. I looked at it years ago. We're going to have another look at it, see what's changed, what's new, all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, also, you know, I used to do uh, for my novel writing, I used to use Scrivener. I switched over to using Emacs and actually I'm using Emacs for a lot of stuff now, uh, org mode. And I found uh, a really neat uh, org mode setup that I've been using for a while now. Um, great stuff there. So we'll be having that in an upcoming video as well. So as always, thanks a lot. And I hope to see you all on my next video.